Growing a new YouTube channel can be a long and tedious process if you don't already have a large following. But in this video, we will go over an easy method that you can implement to quickly boost your views and subscribers when getting started. In my opinion, creating video discovery ads is the best way to get your channel up and running if you don't already have a huge online following. In order to create ads for YouTube videos, you will need to access your Google Ads account. You should have already linked Google AdWords to your channel, which we did earlier in the course. Creating ads for YouTube videos is an easy process and pretty inexpensive as well. You don't need to spend a lot of money to start getting views and subscribers. Once your video gains views with paid ads, you will notice that your organic views will begin to increase as well. People are more likely to click on videos that have more views. So let's head over to ads.google.com and go over how to create some video discovery ads. You should have already connected your AdWords account to your YouTube channel earlier in the course, so go ahead and sign in now. Once you sign into Google Ads, make sure you're on the Campaigns tab. In order to create a new ad for your video, go ahead and click on the blue circle icon with the plus sign in the middle. From the drop down menu, go ahead and click on New Campaign. You can then select the type of campaign that you want to create. As you can see, you have several options to choose from here depending on your goal. For our video discovery ads, our main goal is to get more views and subscribers to our channel for the lowest price possible. To do this, let's go ahead and select the last option here that says create a campaign without a goals guidance. Now let's select our campaign type. Since we're creating an ad for a YouTube video, let's go ahead and click on video. Now we can select our campaign subtype. Since we're simply trying to get more views and subscribers for the lowest cost, let's just leave it on custom video settings. Make sure that's selected, then go ahead and hit continue. Now we can start creating our campaign. Go ahead and start by creating a campaign name. Under bidding strategy, let's leave it as maximum CPV or cost per view. We can set our maximum here shortly. Under budget and dates, let's select the budget type and amount. Instead of campaign total, I'm going to click the drop down and select a daily budget. Typically, I'll set a daily budget from anywhere between $2 and $10. But for this campaign, I think I'll select $5. $5 a day is not that much to start adding a bunch of views and subscribers to your channel. If you like, you can also set a start and end date for your campaign. But I'm just going to let mine run continuously until I cancel it. Next. You can select the networks, languages, and locations where you want your ad campaign to appear. Since I want my viewers to be able to actually click the video and go to my channel to subscribe, I'm going to deselect the YouTube Partners on Display Network option. For languages, I'm going to select English since my video is in English. And for locations, instead of just targeting the United States, I'm actually going to select all territories and countries. Countries such as India tend to have a much lower cost per view than the United States. The cost per view can be as low as a fraction of a cent. This will allow you to get a ton of views to your channel for the lowest cost possible. Next you have your content exclusions. Unless you have places you don't want your ad to show up, just leave this blank for now. Next, we can create an ad group for our campaign. Every campaign can have multiple ad groups, and every ad group can have multiple ads. If you decide to have multiple ad groups with multiple ads under the same campaign, Everything will still run under the daily $5 campaign budget. After you name your ad group, you can then select the demographics and the audience for this ad group. Under demographics, you can select the gender, age, parental status, or the income for the people you want to target. Since this is for a new channel, I'm going to leave everything selected so I can see which demographics are actually clicking my ad in my results. You could also select the audience categories that you want to show your ad to, if you like. Simply type in your topic or niche and see what audiences come up. But for now, I'm going to leave this blank as well. Next, you can narrow your reach by selecting keywords, topics, or placements. I think I'll actually add some keywords to this ad group so I know that they're interested in stock trading and technical analysis. If you click here, you can type in the main keyword for your topic or niche and you'll get a list of ideas that you can add to your keywords. Go ahead and add all the keyword ideas that apply to your video. Simply click the plus sign here beside the keywords that you want to add. As you create the targeting for your ad, you can look on the right hand side here to see the weekly estimated impressions for your video. Under topics, you can also select the topics where you want your video to appear. You could simply type in the keyword for your niche and select all the topics that apply. But for the first ad on a new channel, 
I like to leave most of my targeting blank. This allows me to view the results of the ad, and once this campaign is over, I can take the results and use the analytics to create an even more targeted campaign next time. That way I'm targeting people that actually click and view the video instead of just guessing. Under placements, you can select to show your ad on various YouTube channels, popular content, or websites that you select. But as I just explained, I'm going to leave this blank for now as well. Now we can select the bidding for our ad group. This is where you can type in your maximum CPV or cost per view bid. Since the goal is to get a lot of views for a low cost, I'm willing to pay up to 2 cents per view. This should give me at least 50 views for every dollar spent and likely a lot more than that. So now that we've set up our campaign and our ad group, now we can actually create our first ad. Go ahead and copy the URL of the video you want to create an ad for and paste it here. You should then see a preview pop up of the video that you selected. Next, you can select your video ad format. Since the goal for this ad campaign is to get more views and subscribers, we're going to select video discovery ad. This will allow your video to show up at the top of the search results when people search for your topic. It can also show up beside related videos and on the YouTube homepage. After you select the ad format, you can now select your thumbnail. The first thumbnail will be the one that's already selected for your video. You can just use that one unless it contains something that's against the YouTube ad rules like a trademarked image. Next, you can select your headline. This will be the title that appears on your ad. Your headline can contain up to 100 characters. You can then add the description for your ad. You have two lines available for your description, each with a maximum of 35 characters each. Make sure you use good copywriting both for your headline and your description to entice people to click the ad. After you have your headline and description, you can now create an ad name. If you plan to create multiple ads for this ad group, make sure you name it something that's easily identifiable. If you look at the weekly estimates on the right hand side, you can see the estimated amount of views, impressions, the estimated average cost per view, and the estimated amount of your budget that will be spent. In the center of your screen, you can see a preview of how your ad will look on both mobile and desktop devices. You can also see how your ad will look beside related videos. If everything looks good, you can now go down to the bottom and click on the blue Create Campaign button. And there we have it. You've just created your first ad campaign for your new YouTube channel. Once your ad campaign is approved, it will begin showing to viewers. Let's click on the blue Continue to Campaign button. This will take you to the Ad Groups tab where you can view all the information for your various ad groups. If you wanted to create multiple ad groups under the same campaign, they will all operate under the same budget. To do this, simply click on the blue circle icon. If you wanted to create another ad for this ad group, you will want to click on the Ads and Extensions tab on the left hand side. Remember that each campaign can have multiple ad groups, and each ad group can have multiple ads. By adding a new ad to your ad group, they can be different videos, but will have the same targeting settings. If you look under the Status tab for the ad I just created, you'll see that it's currently under review. It may take a few days for your ad to be approved. For my new campaign, I'm actually going to add multiple ads. This is so I'll gain more views on all the videos that I create ads for. To add an ad, Make sure you're on the Ads tab and then click on the blue circle button here. You can then select the ad group that you want to add your ad to. Since this ad will be on the same topic as my previous video, I'm just going to simply add it to the ad group that we just created. Your targeting settings will be the same as the previous ad, so all you have to do is create the ad itself. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on Save Ad. So now I have two ads that will run under the same ad group. To help my channel gain more traction, I'll likely create ad groups and ads for all the videos on my channel. This will allow my videos to gain more views and to see which ads actually perform the best. But even if I were to create 10 different ads, if I put them all under the same campaign, I'll still only spend my maximum budget of $5 a day. So now I'm just going to let my ad campaign run for about a week or two and then I'll come back with the results. So now let's check out the ad campaign results for my new YouTube channel. In my Google AdWords account, I can see all the data and information about my ads. I ended up creating two separate campaigns, one being for all my promo videos and one being for all my stock trading training tutorials. I set a daily budget of $2 for one of my campaigns and $2.50 for the other campaign, giving me an average total of $4.50 spent per day. So let's check out some of the campaign results for the last seven days. Under the budget column on the campaigns tab, 
you can see that I spent $4.50 per day. My videos received a total of about 122,000 impressions. For my watch time results, you can see that about 16.7% of people made it through 25% of my video. 8.5% of people made it through 50% of the video. 6.27% of people made it through 75% of the video. And around 4% of the people watched 100% of the video. In total, I received about 3,200 views over the last 7 days. This had an interaction rate of about 2.64% with an average cost of less than a penny per view. My total cost over the last 7 days was only about $34. This is pretty cheap to start growing your YouTube channel in my opinion. So now let's head over to my new YouTube channel and see if the ads were able to help my YouTube channel grow. So if we check out my new YouTube channel, you can see that I now have 56 subscribers. Almost all of these came from people watching the videos from the ads I created. If we go to the About tab, we can also see that my channel now has over 5,000 views. So as you can see, creating the ads were able to quickly grow my channel with views and subscribers, which shows this is an active channel and provides some social proof. With such a low cost, I think this is one of the best ways to get started when growing a new channel. As your views and subscribers increase, your organic traffic to your videos will increase, as well as your search engine rankings on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, Jason here again with Quantum Courses, and thanks for checking out this video preview. To get the full course and view our other online courses and master classes, head over to jasongandy.org or click the link down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.